Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are fine by the grace of almighty allah welcome to nifs home school i am sabrina hokestan teacher of science national adult english mission school deshi dear students today i am going to take a science test for class 5 student on the based on competency based question answer and this question answer from chapter 13 so let us move forward to this topic dear student <coughs> first competency based question answer the name of the chap chapter was natural resources uh, resources and the uh, first question natural resources is a resource found in the nature nature that people can use write down the importance of the proper use of natural resources in five sentences the answer is the importance of the proper use of natural resources are first one we depend on natural resources for producing energy and something new second one the demand of natural resources are increasing with the increasing number of the population third one but some resources like oil coal natural gas are limited fourth one modern life will stop without natural resources now last one these resources may completely exhaust very soon dear students come to the next question what are the similarity and dissimilarity between natural resources and man made resources the answer is similarity and dissimilarity be between natural resources and man made resources as first one similarities we get both the natural resources and man made man made resources from nature second one both the resources are mainly used for human beings third one we can reduce pollution around us by reserving these resources now come to the dissimilarities natural resources are created naturally while man made resources are created artificially second one natural resources do not depend on man made resources but man made resources are depend on natural resources third one natural resources cannot be created as as per our will but man made resources can be created as per our will now come to question number 3 what do you understand by natural resources what do you understand by renewable and non renewable resources right to advantages of solar energy the answer is the natural thing which we use in our work are called natural resources for example earth water air plant air plant etc natural resources which can be reused are called renewable resources again i am saying this line natural resources which can be reused are called renewable resources for example sunlight on the other hand the resources that being used once come exhausted thus cannot be get, uh, got back again are called reno, non renewable resources two advantages of solar energy are first one using solar energy does not pollute environment solar energy will never be finished now come to the next question Ornima asked her elder sister Upama he was studying in physics about the renewable energy resource she also wanted to know about its importance so what should Upama answer to this in this case write six sentences the answer is upama should answer in the following way renewable energy is generally defined as energy that comes from resources which are naturally <coughs> replenished on a human time scale such as sunlight wind rain tides waves and geothermal heat renewable energies are great for us because they are not harmful for the environment therefore renewable resources can be used as alternative resources we can use sunlight wind and water as renewable resources the sunlight is an important and unlimited energy resource in solar panels sunlight is used as energy source and in wind turbine wind is the energy source now come to the what is wind turbine describe in brief the answer is a wind turbine is a device that converts kinetic energy from the wind into electrical power wind is an alternative energy resource we, uh, when the wind turns the blade of the wind turbine electricity is produced 
winds are created by sun's uneven heating of the atmosphere in combination with the irregular surface of the earth and earth's rotation these winds can be harvested using wind turbines and used uh, to make electricity here wind energy is a free re renewable resource its use does not affect the future supply now come to next question how can we conserve natural resources or why do people need to use natural resources wisely answer is it is very important to use natural resources wisely for conserving them we can conserve natural resources by <coughs> it is using it will be using dear students this will, will be using less energy reusing and recycling things conserving natural resources helps us to reduce environmental pollution gradually people depend on natural resources to make new things and produce energy the demand for natural resources is increasing as the human population is growing but some natural resources especially oil coal and natural gas are limited therefore people have to find alternative resources as a good way to use natural resources wisely now come for the question number 7 and this is the last question of this chapter why do renewable resources become alternative to non renewable resources the answer is renewable resources become alternative to non renewable resources because the non renewable resources like oil coal and natural gas cannot be replaced for future use once future use once used up on the other hand renewable resources can be replaced or reused we use sunlight wind and water as renewable resources the sunlight is an important and unlimited energy resource when wind turbines the blades of a uh, wind turbine electricity produce the natural resource uh, renewable resource sorry natural renewable source can be conserved by using less energy reusing and recycling things dear students this is your homework number 24 you have to write cbq number 1 as your homework 24 dear students i have finished my today's topic hope you have understood read the chapter and learn the question answer do the sw and take preparation for your half yearly exam thank you allah hafiz